Hello, so I've been asked to do a problem walkthrough for this question, uh, which says 5 raised to the power of x plus 1 plus 5 raised to the power of x is equal to 150. Okay, so before I talk about anything to do with indices, let's just refresh our memory as to what indices are. Let's start with something very simple, like 2 times 2, which equals 4 no problem. Uh, what about 2 times 2 times 2? Oops. And that equals 8. Okay, fair enough. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, which is equal to 8 times 2, which is 16. Okay, this is getting quite cumbersome now. If there's a shorthand for writing out when we're multiplying a number by itself a certain number of times that would be really helpful and in fact there is such a shorthand it's called an index so instead of saying 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 which is you've got 1 2 3 4 2's we could say that's 2 raised to the power of 4 likewise with 2 times 2 times 2 we could say that's 2 to the power 3 and 2 times 2, we can say that's equal to 2 times 2. So now we notice what we're doing here. When we're multiplying by another 2, we're basically just adding 1 to the index. So 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. And then we multiply that by 2, which will be 32. That's the same as saying 2 to the power 4 plus 1. So multiplying by the base is the same as adding 1 to the index. If we have anything in the form of say a raised to the power b, this is the base and this is the index. So in general a raised to the power b multiplied by a is equal to a to the power b plus 1. Okay, so now with that out of the way, we can ex... let's just move this stuff down. We can add an extra step here. We can say 5 to the power x plus 1 is the same as 5 to the power x multiplied by 5 and then we're adding to that the 5 to the power x and that's equal to 150 but what else we can say is that this 5 to the power x is the same as 1 times 5 to the power x because anything multiplied by 1 is itself. So we've got 5 to the power x multiplied by 5 and 5 to the power x multiplied by 1. In fact, let me just move this 1 across. So we have 5 to the power x multiplied by 5 plus 5 to the power x multiplied by 1 is equal to 150. And now I want to talk about factorization. So if we have any number multiplied by any other number and we add that to the same number multiplied by a different number we can pull the common factor out and have the remainder like that that's called factorization it's the opposite of distribution. Okay, so let's let's just distribute this out to prove. So remember anything in brackets has to be evaluated first. So by evaluating the brackets first, we're saying that everything in the brackets is multiplied by the a, a multiplied by the b plus a multiplied by the c. And as you can see, that is the same as this. 
which means this is the same as this. So that's factorization. So what we have here is just factorization. We've got 5 to the power x multiplied by 5 and 5 to the power x multiplied by 1 and we're adding them together. So if we pull out the 5 to the power x, what are we left with? Well, if we're taking the 5 to the power x away from 5 to the power x times 5, we're just left with the 5. And so then we've still got the addition. And now we've just got 5 to the power x times 1, so when the 5 to the power x is pulled out, we're just left with the 1. And all that, of course, is equal to 150. So that's what we've got here. Oh, sorry, so this is the factorised version. So all we're doing now is combining what's in the brackets. So this is 5 to the power x multiplied by 6, because 5 plus 1 is 6. OK, so what are we doing here? Well, we've got 6 times 5 to the power x is equal to 150, so we're just dividing both sides by 6. So 5 to the power x is equal to 150 over 6. And then if we just do that calculation, we can use a calculator if we didn't know the, the answer, and that brings us down to here. Now 25, as we've just seen, is 5 times 5, which is equal to 5 raised to the power 2. So we know that 5 to the power x is equal to 5 to the power 2. And then we can compare the bases and say x must equal 2. And that is our final answer. OK, I hope that was helpful, and maybe I'll see you in a future video. Take care now. Bye-bye.